Hey you guys, it's Bright. Tonight we're here with something a little bit different. I figured it was a good video to kind of break up what I've been covering lately. I want to talk to y'all about what I'm actually obsessed with. Like what on social media really catches my eye and what I spend a fair amount of time watching. If y'all are in the market for some new creators to maybe check out, no, I'm not friends with these people. No, I don't know them, but I do watch a fair amount of their content. Not all of it, but a fair amount. So we're going to go over a few of the videos that I actually will watch one and then watch another and then like click on their profile and see what else they have going on. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I hear so often that the people that I cover, oh, you're obsessed with this, you're obsessed with Gypsy, you're obsessed with the Doherty Dozen, you're obsessed with Colleen Ballinger, um, none of which are true, not obsessed, not jealous, not really even interested in what they're doing, but I do have a commentary channel where I like to call it unethical and crooked influencers, so that is why they're a topic on my channel, and if y'all like it, I love it, and I'm going to keep covering it. But either way, that's a really boring argument. I want to share some of these creators. Now, if any of these creators, if I name them and you're like, oh my God, that's a terrible person, sound off down below because maybe y'all know something that I don't and I'm always uh, open to hear another point of view or perspective. But let's just start at the top. So first I want to talk about Molly McPherson. She does a lot of commentary on influencer scandals and how like a PR person might be viewing this with their expertise. I found her during the Colleen Ballinger saga last summer and she's really great. She gives fair commentary. She talks a lot about influencers that y'all probably know about. I know about some of them. But I like her perspective. I like that it's an educated video on what's happening, what conversations might be happening behind closed doors, what she might advise these people to do if they were her clients. Another account that I watch a fair amount of their content, her username is vintage underscore dusties. And she covers a lot of vintage nail polish and she'll try to like dupe old nail polish colors for what's available in the stores right now and I randomly came across her page one day and I love vintage stuff. I love vintage decor, vintage beauty, antiquing stuff, restoration stuff. So I came across her page and she was trying to dupe this nail polish and ended up like finding a dupe for it and shared it on, on her TikTok. It's not really educational but I like it and I like to see old products be duped with stuff that I can go to the store right now and buy and she does a really great job at that. She does application on video. She will show, okay, well, you know, this product is close, but it's not perfect. Here's another option and she'll kind of go through and eliminate what's bad versus what's good and I like it. Someone else I watch is Me Snarky and her page is all about covering like really old celebrity news and kind of going through a timeline of their life. She's done a series on Elizabeth Taylor. More recently she covered the Johnson & Johnson family and kind of went through some of their scandals, some of what the people in that family were up to, what they might have inherited, what they didn't. Like, it, it's a timeline channel. I like it. She is quick, but also very thorough, and I watch a lot of her content. Okay, this is one of my favorite creators that I've recently discovered. The uh, username on TikTok is Eats History, and this individual goes through and will cook President's favorite dishes. So he's starting from the top from George Washington and working his way down and he will show preparing the president's favorite meal and then rate it on a scale from zero to ten and while he's preparing the meal he'll give a little bit of backstory as to how that person became president, what their background is, what their education was and it's just really interesting. I like again everything vintage. I like learning about what was popular, you know, 100 years ago? Like, how was it prepared? Does it taste good? Does it taste bad? 
Um, so it's just really interesting and I watch almost every video that this uh, creator puts out. I've already covered this creator in a previous video, but that Midwestern mom, I absolutely love her content, watch pretty much everything that she puts out. Are the recipes that she posts stuff that I'm like running to my kitchen to try to make? No, but I do love her personality. I love her energy. I love that she is one of the creators that is actually you know a really big creator but it seems like the attention and uh, interactions that she gets on social media are not turning her into someone that is unrecognizable and i love that all right so two more creators that i want to put in this video i don't want this to be a really long list of just a bunch of random people these are people that like i'm really interested in their content um this guy's username his name is vic and he goes by fat vic p-h-a-t-v-i-c-k on tiktok and he reviews chicken wings i know it sounds so weird most people probably think that i'm over here obsessively watching family vloggers who knows what but i'm actually watching stuff like this a guy sitting in his car and or sitting in a restaurant sometimes reviewing chicken wings and he does reviews all over the place but he is based in the dmv area so like dc maryland virginia and i really like his content i sometimes will watch his videos and i automatically want to like try something similar or whatever i think he's honest i think he's pretty straightforward and he's gotten a lot of growth especially over the last few months that i've been watching him so let's close out the video on something vintage and talk about aaron parsons aaron parsons has been popular on tiktok and social media in general for a very long time she reviews a lot of especially like i would say 60s to 90s makeup she doesn't really do current day stuff but she will find good old makeup and then try to dupe it for stuff that you can buy current day kind of like the nail polish creator that i mentioned earlier but i really like erin especially if you like that 90s um you know you see makeup that was popular in the 90s and you want to know what it's similar to she does a really great job at being thorough so of course as always i will have all these creators linked down below but i figured let's do something a little different and yeah if you have suggestions that you want to drop off and i'll take a look that's good too so for now if you like the video please leave a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye